New developments in our top story this morning. A police-involved shooting in the district that sent uh, both uh, the police officer and the suspect to the hospital. We are getting an update on the conditions of both the officer and that suspect. John Gonzalez live at police headquarters in Northwest with the very latest. Johnny, what do we know? Good morning, ladies. Well, we understand the police department's gun recovery unit was in the 1300 block of Queen Street in Northeast D.C. late last night on what has been described as a routine mission. Well, things did not go so smoothly. In fact, they turned deadly. Now, when we arrived at the scene, paramedics were working on a 35 year old man. They transported him to the hospital. Well, the police chief tells us that man shot one of her officers. He was also critically wounded, shot several times. Now, it's unclear this morning if there was some sort of a raid during this gun recovery inside the home where this man lived. But at some point, there was an altercation out on the street that escalated into this gun shootout between the armed man and one of the officers. Now, this morning, we can report the suspect has died. The officer who was shot in the leg has been treated and released. He's expected to be okay. Of course, the investigation into all of this continues. In the meantime, we can tell you the gun recovery unit for the city has collected more than 28,000 guns over the past 13 years. Reporting live at D.C. Police Headquarters, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.